Um, so I have an upcoming show, uh, Death May Get You Down and Other Drawings. It's a series of ballpoint pen drawings uh, exploring the themes of Memento Mori and a few other uh, random drawings one way or another. Uh, the main body of the work is the very traditional theme of Memento Mori, and the drawings themselves are kind of a contemporary state of that. Um, a lot of them deal with uh, all kinds of different reminders of our own mortality. Um, but being such a morbid subject, I counterbalance that by working with uh, very colorful backgrounds to kind of create a, uh, a balance between the two. Balance plays a really big um, role in my work, uh, always trying to counteract uh, uh, maybe the more heavy subject with uh, a little lighter fare. A really fun way of kind of dealing with our own uh, sense of mortality, something that we all explore to a great deal. Um, the, the works themselves are done in ballpoint pen uh, with a little bit of white, uh, white pencil for highlighting. So a lot of times, um, you know, a question that comes up very often for artists is how they got to where they, they are today, why they're painting what they're painting, what was the path that, that really got them to where they're going. And I kind of had a weird moment with a fellow artist and friend um, who had seen one of my pieces recently and had mentioned how he really enjoyed the sense of humor of it, which is something I never actually thought about with my work. I always considered it to be a very ser serious pursuit um, and, and realized after he said it that there's always been an element of, of something uh, off and funny um, in the works that I do. Um, that. You know, working with insects, working with cats, working with all kinds of uh, slightly morbid, off-kilter uh, subject matters. Um, I think that whole process, all of it kind of stems back to my sensibility and, and relation with life itself. This understanding of, of not being able to separate the comedic from uh, the very serious and grave. Uh, how both are needed to really, uh, to really get an understanding of, of what we're doing here. Um, and I think that, that my work reflects that. I had no idea I was going that route, honestly, when I was doing it. Uh, you know, you're, you're reacting to what's around you, what is of interest to you. And, and every once in a while you get one of those moments where you can look back at what you're working on. Um, someone can point it out to you and you realize, you know, I've, I've kind of been on a path all along. Um, I, I think that's a really beautiful way of kind of getting where you're going. You know, there's, it's almost kind of uh, lost. Uh, you, you started off working on something, found yourself at the end, and in between you have no idea how you got from point A to point B. Uh, when the work's talking to you like that, I think, uh, I think you're probably in a pretty good place. Um, uh, coneflower forms. Um, but this idea of insects kind of being beautiful objects and presented as a traditional floral, which is something of beauty and value, um, became very, very interesting to me. Um, another theme that kind of works its way um, into my works quite a bit is uh, theories of transience and, and um, kind of transition. Um, things always moving around, not necessarily being stable. Um, uh, kind of flirting with reality and breaking it from time to time um, as necessary. Uh, so you'll see lots of ghosted imagery. You'll see what we're working uh, on are, are not any different from that. There'll be elements of all of that. Um, again, kind of drawing back to that whole theme of, of our own uh, impermanence in the world.